Hi guys and welcome to this episode of the Just My Opinion podcast. Over here on the Just My Opinion podcast, we talk about everything, entertainment and lots more. So if you're interested in stuff like that, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification button. As the title of our podcast goes, Just My Opinion. So feel free to share your opinion in the comment section below. We always want to hear from you. So let's get to it. Hi, Ambassador. Hello, people. It's your boy, Ambassador. Ambassador again doing his thing. Okay, so um, today we are going to be talking about 237 artists on tour, the reality, what's happening behind the scenes. So um, we have this article from Next Dim Empire, which says, artists are silent about the torments they undergo during their tours abroad. It is a milestone for every artist's career to be booked for a tour in Europe or America. It comes with exhilaration and a sensation of accomplishment that your music has traversed continental boundaries. Okay, It has become very competitive in such a way that an artist who is not going on tour in the US or Europe is considered inferior or an underachiever. Traveling and performing abroad has become a barometer to gauge the success of artists in Cameroon. It is undeniably a landmark for many artists to go on tour abroad, but the impact and self-satisfaction they derive from the tours remains uncertain. It is just for sightseeing or walk. Show organizers are doing a laudable job to invite Cameroonian artists. This Mali, some of the of these invitations usually come with unrealistic expectation and gets artists frustrated abroad. Poor logistics, no tour manager, unprofessional booking agent, and limited budget to pay the artist's bills are some of the problems they face. Statistically, very few show organizers have released flyers with dates and locations and actually execute this program till the end. For instance, No Wall announced a summer Europe tour for Phil B. How many shows has Phil B done this summer? We are in mid-August and Philby has not done up to five shows out of about 15 dates and venues. It is evident that there is lack of preparedness on the part of the organizers and they hardly follow the terms of their agreements with the artists. Some show organizers hold artists into captivity and total control like they are doing the artists a favor. They sometimes go to the extent of confiscating the artist's passport, locking them up in hotel rooms, etc. Masa, now for Kuwait House Servant, we fit see this kind juju. Artists are dying in silence just because they want to be praised for having a Europe or US tour. It is time to start speaking out rather than suffer from the caprices of show organizers. It's funny how even organizers invite artists without being sure of tour date on plant worker. As Renew and other Cameroonian artists gear up for tours abroad, it is important to take precaution. Event organizers should understand that what they are doing is business and not favor. Hence, they have to be professional. Okay. Yeah, first of all, I mean, the, there are a lot of big terms. Well-written article. So, next them. Shout out to you guys. And this is really eye-opening for me. I, I mean, you see an artist going on tour, like Kosi is presently in the States. Like, several artists have gone on tour to america before and i always feel like oh okay probably the cameroonian population over there invites them and they have some shows in maybe um places like um washington where or how, how they call this place maryland where there are a lot of cameroonians and stuff like that so whenever i, I hear artists going on tour it's not it's not that it's because it's cameroonian so i underestimated but i feel like realistically i i think it's just um, Cameroonians and diaspora having like a small room inviting them and they perform but I, I didn't think it at this level where people are being locked up in hotel rooms and their passports being taken away I mean this is crazy so I don't know two things that come to mind for me is um, these two pineapples that we used to have when we were growing up is uh if you don't arrange your house all the neighbors should come and play football in your own house and then also they say secret the key cocoa i go so key coffee what do what do these two pineapples mean one is 
when we do our, arrange our houses, it's very easy for every mess to go. So first, it starts, we should not just look at it from the artist organizer's side. So from when the person calls you, it should not be like they're doing you a favor. That's why I tell some of these artists, get business minds on the table. When you start calling people, yes, boss, madam, yes, boss, sir, the person feels that they have an upper hand and anything goes. Like how Isa oh, so Rocky ask... wanted Fali Epupa to call him sir. Yeah. Mm. Maybe he has been called sir by other African artists and he thinks that, okay, it's a whole slave master, slave relationship going on here. Mm. Now, don't also let them invest in things that they should not be investing in. That whole story of Joe can't stay for my house, um, I have a friend in this place. No, put your invoice and then include your hotel bills in it. You are coming with your manager. You are coming with your manager. You cannot come with your manager. You cannot go there and then say, "Okay, I guess I'm a small sister. I go to work for you." That is not how it works. All of those familiarity things and sound like they're doing you a favor. No, if the math is not matching, let it be. If my brand is not strong enough to pull the numbers, we can at least break even. Then let it be. I tell them it starts by organizing your house so that other people don't come and play football in your house. Because when people don't have good managers, you don't have good ear now, you don't have good representatives out there. You, the artist who is focusing on your music, at times you're not even that educated. You go out there and then all of those things happen. And when we start complaining, just don't look at it. So if people always say, if you, as you give yourself, that's how they're going to take you. So if you come cheap, you come easy, weak bargaining power, some of those things sound like favors, it's good, but it's also weakening your brand or your negotiation power. You should stand your ground. Secondly, when I talk about two key coffee, go key cocoa is I don't see enough solidarity behind this issue. I think it's coming up now because of what has happened to Philbit. Philbit has been um, his passport has been collected by an event organizer in France, the back end of the story here and there, here and there. I think that more artists should stand up. Even if the whole older generation artist organization is not standing up, we have all the people like Wax Days and the Salatiers and the Stanley Enos who should not only make posts, but they should make legal moves to back him up. Let him feel like he's coming from somewhere and there are some people behind him. Because as I said it, when they are finished dealing with the field bits and the rest, they'll start also trying to deal with the Stanley Enos and the rest. When they are, so, so as soon as as they say, when the, the things knock on your neighbor's door and you don't open your door to help your neighbor, when they are done, your neighbor will come to you somehow, some way. So those are the two things I was talking about there. For me, the even stronger one is organizing your industry. Right now, that's my main focus in the industry. I'm trying to build bits and pieces here and there to have a solid structure and a solid music ecosystem. Because till that is done, all of what we are doing is child's play. We'll, we'll, we'll have some simulation of success. They will be so short-lived and cannot be sustainable because all the pillars are not yet standing in their place for the house to stand. So but we always get excited. And then we have this syndrome in Cameroon where your joy is not because you have succeeded very far. It's because you are far from the rest. I don't know how to explain it. So you are even happier because the rest are down there and you are up here. You're forgetting that being up here alone is a very weak and very isolated position to stand in. So we have all of those things which we have to sort out in our industry. So then this will keep on happening and just talking about the consequence, but not trying to sort out the causes is just for me the waste of time. Yeah, I understand the media is going to talk about here and there. Hey, these girls are bad girls. This is, that, that is not the cause of the problem. There are lots of, we should treat these things holistically. There are lots of underlying factors which should be addressed with things like this has to stop happening. And this is not the first case. We've had lots of cases where people's passports get collected, people get punched. Even in Cameroon here, people were taken to the village and then they gave them seven punches or six punches. <laughs> All of these things because the sector is not properly organized. Mm -hmm. And I've seen many of these cases. I've even been involved with some of these label artists, drama and things, which when you look at it at the end of the day, it's just because there are no structures, there's no money. People are all mad and looking for who to blame. So you want to look at from the artist or the, the, the event on another side, they actually put some heavy money to bring these artists, then they're they not breaking even. Now the artists to the Africa, like, okay, the artists might want to make some fast moves, either go back to Cameroon, they have already collected some of my money, or you want to go and perform in shows that I'm not going to have a cut in. You also see some of those things on the artist event organizer side, which you might not be talking about it now. So 
as long as some of these things are not organized, some of these things will just keep on happening. And mm. yeah, it's just consequences of poor choices and uh, poor organization of the industry as a well. whole. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. There are a lot of things which, um, like sometimes when you look at the way Cameroonians are being treated out of Cameroon, or when they go to like embassies, so this is out of the music industry, they go to embassies to like request for visas and stuff. You see the way Cameroonians are being treated. And I, 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 my thought is like, if this was in Japan or this was in, I don't know, a, a, a country which they have like their economy in the right place, yeah. they wouldn't treat you like that. They wouldn't treat you this way, but they feel like because you're a Cameroonian, they're doing you a favor and you have no choice. So, and you cannot do anything about it. So it's, we really need to work on building our country or else we just have to take this disrespect. Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, let's talk about our sponsors, Echo.online. Online. As usual, this is one of the solutions to all the various problems in trying to build our industry. Echo Online is here to democratize the playing field for African artists. Um, that's you making your own money, being in control of your own analytics. So, like, if you if you be to say, okay, I'm I'm selling like this in um, I don't know where Paris, I'm selling like this in Brussels, I'm selling like this. Organize my show here. We have already done the analytics on Echo Online. Echo Online has very good analytics, which you could use to now project or strategize on how to move with your shows and events. You can as well sell the tickets of events directly there based on. So that all of these things which are in uh, structures or services which are provided by Echo Online, which will solve most of these, most of these problems. Echo Online is an app built by Africans for Africans. Um, first, just go out there, create your profile on Echo Online, share the link to all your social media handles, get your fans and followers to come and play on Echo Online, build a good community, then you can start monetizing off your ads, selling your music, streaming your your music, selling tickets, selling merchandise, all of these things. Are, some of them are under construction, some are already there, but I bet you, you are going to be impressed by the results and how adapted it is to our African realities. So with things like mobile money, your fans can actually buy your music, buy your tickets, and you can withdraw your money directly just with your phone. As we say, the power is in your hand. So go out there, play with some of these things, get the good results, share the good news, and then tag us in some of these things. When you put out your music on Echo Online, we're all here trying to build the ecosystem. Hopefully, we solve some of these problems. Everybody should play their minute roles in some of these solving some of these problems so that the big, in the grand scheme of things, it could be solved. And then artists could be happy, business people could be happy, and we all help to grow the culture. Okay, guys, thank you very much for tuning in to this episode of the Just My Opinion podcast. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification button, and let us know what you think in the comments below. See you guys next time. Bye.